Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. So Jennifer in the Facebook group, The Wire Makers Club, had a question about how to keep beads straight when making a bangle bracelet. So that inspired today's Tip Tuesday video. What we're gonna use for this project is 18 gauge wire. You can also do the same design I did in the bracelet making challenge. I'll link that video up below. And I have my cutters, round pliers, flat pliers, all my variety of beads and optional, you can use the artistic wire uh, bracelet jig as well. So I have 18 inches of 18 gauge wire. We'll just fold it to find the approximate halfway point. And then we're just gonna bend that and wind that around and make our little loop. You can also make your own uh, kind of clasp for this uh, bracelet, it's totally up to you. But I'm just gonna do a little loop bend it out this way. You could even wind the wire around if you need to. And we're just going to make sure these are like kind of together like that. From there, we'll just measure it on the bracelet form. Like I said, this is totally optional. You can just measure it out. You can wind it around a pill bottle, anything that you like, you know, to get that round shape. So we'll just bring it all the way around here. Then we're just gonna remove it to know where to wind the wires together. And I'll just flip this around and I'm going to take the pliers, hold it flat and take the shorter end and just bring it around. So we're just gonna bring that around a couple times. I'll clip the end. And then I'm gonna leave this for now and we're gonna form the hook after. So now I'm gonna attach the beads with a 22 gauge wire. I have these really funky ladybug beads. I'll actually link up below where you can purchase those. And we're gonna start by just kind of taking the bead and bending the wire in a way that it's gonna hold in place. And then I'm gonna have this as the center bead on my bracelet. I cut my wire really long, so you're gonna hear it scratching a little bit on the uh, table. And so we want one wire to go to one side, one wire to go to the other. Center it the best you can. And then we want to be able to have it centered on there. So if that wire is going out that way, uh, we're just going to help it a little bit with the pliers and bend it around like that. So it'll be more centered on the wire. So if we go like that and then just place it on here. This bead is a little chubby so it's even getting a little bit more distorted. But we're just going to put it here. We can always fix it up after and just bend it around a couple of times. Okay, and even three times if you want. Depends on how long you've cut this wire. So then we're gonna rotate it. And then this one went to that side. So this one I'm gonna go to the other side and then bend it at a bit of an angle here, just a little bit to the top. And then we're just gonna take our pliers again, round nose pliers and help it out around there. So that way, it'll be a little bit more centered. So we're gonna go here, could still get distorted a bit, but we could fix that after. So go around a couple of times. And then you'll see that it's more centered on the bracelet. So now, once we wanna put the other uh, beads on there, we could do the same thing, where we take this, bend it at a bit of an angle, and then we're gonna choose our next beads. So I'll take one of these six millimeter miracle beads and put it on the wire and you'll see it's sort of centered there. And then we want to go over to the other side. So that we're gonna bend it at an angle again to hold it in place. And then we're going to help it out with the pliers. So that just gives it a little bit of a jog there. Now hold it centered on the wire and go around one, two, let's do it three times. So you'll see it's nicely centered. If it has to be tweaked, just like give it a little rotate. So you'll see it's centered on there. So now let's get another one. We'll get a clear bead and we'll put it on there. The same thing would work with an oval bead. If you have an oval uh, odd shape bead to go on, it, it will work in the same way. So actually we probably should have bent it first before we put the bead on, but that's okay. We're just going to take this, give it a little jog, 
call it a little flick of the wrist so it's centered and then this one out that way and then take this hold it and help it out around there okay so we're going to just do that and that'll keep it centered on the bangle wire so one two three now let's put another ladybug on there to see how we do it now the ladybug beads are a little thicker so I'm just going to hold it up a little bit more okay I'll give it a little jog like that way okay and then a little jog this way and then that way we have a little bit of space in there for the ladybug so now let's put this one ladybug on there and you'll see it sits nicely centered on there and there's a nice little bit of space uh, underneath it as well so we're going to just also bend it out at right angle and then bend this down okay down and then we're going to do the same thing where we give it a little bit I could have even done more than I did there so we're just going to take this one and then bend it get, help it out to go there so we have a like a bend to the right bend down and then a bend across there just so it sits nicely on there and then we're going to bend around a couple of times one two and then three so you'll see that sits really nicely on there beautiful and then now we can put another miracle bead so oh, let's do this first where we just kind of hold this and then we're going to bring it here if you don't need much space you don't have to do a jog in and out it's it really just depends on the size of your bead if you want to do like a little jog over first so there's space and then hold this and then do a little jog that way okay and that way for sure you're going to have lots of space for your bead to sit nicely and then we're going to take the bead put it on see it sits really nicely there and then bend it out like push it a little bit if you have to get it tighter in there just push it with your thumb push it down a little bit and then same thing you can just take this and push it down again so we've got a little bit of space in there go around again one two three and then let's put one more bead so we can put another clear bead and we'll just take this one again and we'll just um, bend it over a bit so we have space for the bead and then take that one and bend it that way a little bit and then we're going to put our clear bead on there and we have a little bit of extra wire but it's always better to have too much than too little so now the same thing we're going to bend it out that way sort of out and then down just past the keep in mind sort of the the width of that and then just bend this down at half of the width of that so it'll be centered there and then also here we'll jump over here and then also we're going to bend this help it out with that and that way it doesn't get distorted and then we're going to wind that around and then as many times as you need to wind it around to finish up the bracelet as how you want it to look there we go and then we're going to clip it and then give it a little pinch and then we're going to do the other side of the bracelet once you've completed the beading we're just going to make a little hook on this end or you can add your own clasp so i'm just going to take this bend this with our bigger round pliers and then take the small round pliers and do a little loop on the end this is just going to make it a little bit um, of a good finish there and so give it a little tug right in there and clip off the end just give it a little clip and from there we're just going to pinch that in make sure the ends pushed in so it's not sharp and there you have your beautiful bangle bracelet when you're going to bring it in there and just hook it together and now you can see all the beads are nicely wound around the bangle and they're nicely centered so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos 
hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.